Hello, my name is Ardi and we are going to solve problem 45 from Hate book of chapter 4 through appropriate application of the super mesh technique obtain a numerical value for the mesh current I3 of the circuit and calculate the power dissipated by 1 ohm resistor okay so we need to do mesh analysis with super mesh yeah I know why because we have this 5 ampere current source here and we cannot know the voltage between this current source so we need to work around that by using supermax but first we need to take care of this i2 first maybe let's do kvl at i2 kvl at i2 and that will be 10 multiplied by i2 but here I1 is flowing to the opposite direction, so I'll have minus I1, and then plus 5 multiplied by I2, so 5I2, and then plus, this is 1, and I need to multiply it by I2, but here I3 is flowing to the opposite direction. All of that will equal to 0, and now I can take care of this. So we'll have minus 10 I1, and then plus, that will be 16 I2, and then minus I3. That will equal to 0, and nothing that we can do from here. Let's just save it as equation number 1. So now, what can we do here? Let's make a super loop here let's do super loop and we can do kvl at super loop let's do kvl at super loop okay what does kvl say yeah the sum of the voltage will equal to zero but here let's start from this three volt so the current will flowing from negative to positive. I will have minus 3. And then plus. Now let's jump into this component. I will have 5. But the only current that pass through this 5 ohm is this I2. So I'll have I2. And then plus. This one will be 4. And multiplied by I3. And this one will also be multiplied by I3. But. The resistance will be 17. So I have 17 I3. All of that will equal to 0. So I will have 5 I2 plus 21 I3 is equal to 3. Okay, let's save it as equation number 2. So equation number 1, equation number 2. We have three variables. So one more equation is needed. We can take KCL now. Let's see if we have KCL at not A here. So I will have KCL at not A. Remember, KCL said that the sum of the currents that goes in is equal to the sum of the currents that goes. Here we will have I3 come from here. So I have I3. But there, I will have I1. But here, this is current source. So, there will be 5 ampere going there. So, by using KCL, we know that I3 here, because that I3 is the only current that goes in. And this one, I1, plus 5 are the currents that goes out. Okay? Now moving this I1 to the left hand side, I will have minus I1 plus I3 is equal to 5. And save that as equation number 3. Okay. Now we have three equations, three variables. Write it as matrix form and plug it into calculator should do the job. So I'll have minus 10 and 16 and then minus 1 and then I will have 0 5 
and 2, and then minus 1, 0, and 1. And the unknown vector should be I1, I2, and I3. And the result vector will be 0, 3, 5. I'll have 0, 3, and 5. Now let's plug into calculator with equation mode. So we have set up equation number 5. So I need 3 variables, so number 2 here. Mm. And let's plug that in. Minus 10. 16 minus 1 0 and then 0 5 2 and then 3 and then minus 1 and then 0 and then 1 and then okay i will have x here x will be the i1 here so i will have minus 1.575 okay i1 will be minus 1.575 the unit will be unpaired what is i2 i2 will be that number here so i will have minus 770 minus 0 0.770 ampere and what is i3 i3 is this number is 3.425 okay 3.425 and the unit will be ampere okay the question asks us about i3 so this is the answer for the first question this question here and now we need to calculate the power of one ohm resistor the power dissipated by this one resistor but the power there will be i squared multiplied by r right so i will have i3 minus i2 okay i3 minus i2 squared and then multiply it by the resistance which is one okay now let's plug that in into our calculator which is i3 i2 and that will be multiplied by i3 will be 3.425 and then minus i2 i2 will be minus 0 0.770 and that all will be squared and multiplied by so i will get 17.9 okay 17.5 and the unit will be milli and this is the answer of the second question here this is the power dissipated in one ohm resistor okay i think that's all for this problem and thank you for watching do not forget to like and subscribe to my channel and see you in the next video bye bye